Hello friends, welcome to Shri Ram Coaching Classes. So in this video, I will tell you about the human ear. Okay. So how human ear works? This is divided into three parts. The first one is outer ear and then the middle ear. And after that, there is an inner ear, of course. Okay. So what is the function of our outer ear? Outer ear just function as it just collect the sound from surrounding and transfer it to our main ear canal or our auditory canal. Okay. So this is ear pinna. This is ear pinna which is collecting sound from different direction and transferring it to our ear canal. And as we all know that sound travel in a compression reflection pattern. So as the compression hit the eardrum. This is our eardrum. As soon as the compression hit our eardrum, so pressure outside the eardrum will increase. So it will force eardrum to come into this direction. It will just come into this direction. And as soon as rarefaction occur, so the pressure outside this is decreased. So it will come back into this direction. So in this manner, our eardrums keeps on vibrating back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. So this is our outer ear, which terminates at this portion. And this is our middle ear, which have this, uh, which have this eardrum, malus, incus and scapes. You wondered, I named some different bones, but these are the same name for these bones. In some book or in some refresher or anything else, you will find the name for hammer is malus and will for incus and this theta for steppies. Always keep in mind this, this is the smallest bone in our whole body. This step is this. This is our smallest bone in our whole body. So, let's come into the middle portion region. Okay. So, as it vibrates, the function of middle ear is to just amplify or increase the magnitude of vibration. Okay. So these three bones, hammer, incus, tapis, eardrum is vibrating back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So this will allow hammer to hit again and again and again to anvil and anvil will hit to steer up and steer up. Will, will just transfer the vibration which are amplified by this middle ear into the oval window. This oval window is at the termination region of the our outer or middle ear. So in this region, this is the ovular window which got the sound vibration increase due to this will transfer these vibrations into this inner ear which consists of a portion called as cochlea. This is the main portion of our human ear. In this region you can see this is a pattern of a snail. It consists of a long tubes in a circular manner consisting of a liquid and it also got many nerve cells which convert the sound wave or vibrations into the into this electrical impulses. These electrical impulses which we got from here will be transferred to our human brain and we can understand of this go through that who whose sound is this or what sound is it. We can understand why that portion with the help of brain. Okay. So this auditory nerve will transfer these to our brain and we can got to know who is on the other sound of other side of a phone just by listening to his or her voice. All this because of brain which recognizes them. Okay. So I'm just summarizing it up. Okay. For you. This outer ear collects the sound and collected sound are transferred to ear canal. Ear canal hits the eardrum which vibrate and these vibrations are transferred to hammer and will stir up. And these three bones increase the magnitude of vibration and these vibrations are transferred to the inner ear with the help of this oval window. Oval window will transfer vibration to cochlea and cochlea got nerve cells which will convert this vibration into electrical impulses and these impulses will be transferred via auditory nerve to our human brain. One more thing, in this middle ear, there is a canal called or tube called Isachian tube. The function of this tube is just to maintain or maintain equilibrium. If some bomb or some firecracker is blasted just, just near you, you will have boom. You just open your mouth. This is just to maintain the air pressure. If so much of sound with that pressure come into your ear, so it will not harm your deaf eardrum. So just to maintain equilibrium, there is a canal. There's a tube which will which will just release all this pressure. This is correct over mouth and this will release all the pressure. 
So you can see how brilliantly our human body is. A few is. months back, I just left this YouTube in because of my studies. I was focusing on my studies. But all thanks to your wonderful comments and inspire me more and more to make video. If you really like this video, you can share it with your friends like you always do and comment below to just inspire me more and more and do hard work for you. Thank you guys. If you find any problem in this video or on my content, I will provide you number here. You can text me on a WhatsApp. I will make a group for you and provide you notes simultaneously. There's no need to just rush up for notes or anything. I will provide you everything. Thank you guys.